What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. This is obviously the day after the game. In this video we are going to be talking about the three things we learned from yesterday's performance. Um, and let's get straight in it. With it. Before, or, before all that, let's, before we get in the video, um, subscribe and like. And yeah, let's, let's get right in it. First thing we learned is that... Somebody just, you know, racing the. Somebody Lewis Hampton coming to Scotland, you know? <laughs> anyway, the first thing we learned is, uh, before I was interrupted, is that the first thing was Jeremy Frimpong is uh, he's brilliant at white right winger. He's absolutely brilliant. He's a definite, definite threat for the opponents we've faced this season. Jeremy Frimpong, he, he was a bit shaky in the first half, but the second half, he came on to a good game. A brilliant game. He's definitely a right winger. I don't think he's got the the belt and the, maybe a bit of height to be a, a right back, but he's definitely a right winger. He he's got the speed. He's got oh, he's got everything. Um, and you you know, I think it's, yeah, he did. Just set up one of the goals. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. He set up one of the goals or created, created chances. Um, and yeah, bef before we get into the second thing. We should actually, referee who was videoing that game, uh, refereeing that game, we should have had a penalty. 40 seconds before you gave Livingston a penalty. By the way, how's that a penalty? Alright, your hand's up in the air, but you're not going to literally do that with the ball, are you? Do you know what I mean? It hits, it's ball to arm. I mean, come on. It's stupid the way they gave Phil, um, penalty this se uh, season, but it was basically the way... It was basically... I'm just texting his. It's basically the same way as like the pen. We should have had a pen with the other side. Um. Right. Um. So the third, uh, the second thing is that um, we our defense must be one, still one of the worst. In the league, I'm not kidding. Even with the sign of Duffy, we need more at the back. It, it just showed yesterday, especially like, all right, we get the free, we're three one up, and you think, oh, we're going to get another goal, and then put the subs on. But you let a goal like that, all right, I'll give you. It was a good goal, Barkash. You should have been doing better from that range. Uh, you know. It's a thing where Barkas, you should have been doing better. It was about, say, 40 yards out or something, I don't know. But it was far out. Defence should be tying up as well, even the midfield at Brown. Should maybe come back and even have a chance to tackle him. And, yeah, Lennon, you need to get on the signs. I know we signed a Jetty, Duffy, uh, who else was signed? Do I think of Ellen who signed another one year deal. I can't remember who else is signed, but if you can, just leave in the comments below if comps are on. Um, yeah, that's the second thing. We still need to strengthen the back. Our back, our defence is still not perfect. Alright, and the third thing is, it's just that we concede, it's not really, it's tying in with the second one. We concede far too many goals. It's like we seen it yesterday. We had the game bag uh, tied up, three one up. You know we should have won, won that easy peasy, but we had to make it hard for ourselves in the dying moments. And it was very very unlucky for Livingston not equalising the last added time. Actually, they're very unlucky not to utilise. Actually, they had a free header in the box, but obviously it counts up for today when Rangers actually slipped up today when they drawed against Hibs. That's why I'm making this video now. So tie in this point. So Rangers are actually only one point, but one point in front of us now, which is kind of good for us now, because we were talking about earlier in the month in the month there, saying oh Rangers going to be eleven points ahead of us. What do you say now, Rangers fans? We're one point behind you now. No more goal difference. We're eleven goal difference actually. And I watched the Hibs game today. Hibs were really good, and that's another thing we've got to watch out for next week. We've got Hibs next Sunday. We've got to watch, even though it's at Parkhead, no advantage, no fans. No advantage, is it? So yeah, 
that's the three things we're learning. I've played a wee bit more from obviously the Hibs and you know Hibs game and the uh, Hibs versus Rangers game and obviously yesterday's performance at Celtic. You know, Livingston did put a good fight up. I'll game it. And the dying edges of the game, three two, could have been anybody's game at the end. To be honest with you, Celtic had the chances, just didn't put them away. And yeah, guys, that is the three things we learned from yesterday's performance. Whenever you're watching this, then. Celtic vs Livingston's game. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if you have, subscribe and like. And I'll see you guys in the match preview on Friday. Um, yeah, Friday for the match preview of Celtic vs Hibs.